Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, my name is Kenneth Bock. Uh, I'm, in head, I'm the head of growth and strategy at Zilliqa. It's my honor to address you today. Zilliqa had its origins in academia. Uh, we were born out of research from computer scientists from the National University of Singapore at the School of Computing, uh, as well as the joint efforts of many entrepreneurs who really saw a gap in the blockchain space. Um, the project launched in late 2017 really started with a deep understanding of the critical problems that blockchains face today, which are uh, namely number one, scalability, and number two, security. Blockchains are a common source of truth coordinated by consensus algorithms and collective behaviors of miners, developers, and token holders. In permissionless systems such as ours, nodes are maintained by pseudo-anonymous individuals who contribute computing resources in exchange for economic rewards. Now, if that sounds complicated to you, it is. That's why even Ethereum, our, one of our leading players in this space, struggles with about 15 transactions per second, or TPS. Now, our sharded architecture allows us to scale into the thousands of TPS, Earlier, you saw a video which rated us at about 2,500 TPS, and that's been validated in test conditions. Earlier this year, in January, we launched our mainnet, and this is the first live public blockchain utilizing sharding as a computing architecture. Now, this is a technical achievement that continues to be a main differentiating factor for us in a crowded blockchain space. We've also made a contribution to the industry on security. Smart contract code, once pushed out onto a mainnet, cannot be revoked easily due to the immutable append-only nature of the blockchain. Numerous hacks and bugs in smart contract code uh, by other projects in the blockchain world illustrate the importance of secure computing, especially in a public environment. Scylla, our safe-by-design programming language, comes from the same family as OCaml and Haskell, both functional programming languages that are used in environments such as high finance and aerospace engineering, where reliability is critical. And we believe that the combined strength of both our sharded solution and secure programming language puts us in good stead in leading the blockchain industry and to be able to compete at a world-class level. Now, it's been said that blockchain is a team sport, and Remington had just repeated that message. I absolutely agree. Now, here you can see that our ecosystem and this is what our ecosystem and technical stack looks like. The nature of the blockchain fundamentally encourages interoperability. Now, we at Zilliqa cannot build an ecosystem by ourselves. Our technical stack consists of players from different parts of the blockchain ecosystem, exchanges, code auditors, AML and KYC solution providers, application builders, and other digital asset security solutions that all come together to create a usable, developer-friendly platform. As an open source project, our value proposition is a vibrant ecosystem where talented developers and entrepreneurs utilize our blockchain and programming language to build next generation applications. Our overall success depends on the success of applications like the five startups that you'll hear about today, building on top of our blockchain, now, these could be in verticals such as fintech, supply chain, and advertising technology, just to, just to name a few verticals. One of these examples in finance and fintech is our partnership with XFERS, which was announced at the recent Singapore Fintech Festival. Straits X is a stablecoin pilot for the Singapore dollar built on the Zilliqa blockchain and scripted in our safe-by-design programming language, Scylla. XSGD is a token pegged one is to one to the Singapore dollar and looks to increase financial efficiency to businesses in Southeast Asia. Starting with this partnership with Xfers, we are well-placed and on track to help facilitate fintech innovation and financial inclusion in ASEAN. Now with that, it gives me great pleasure to be able to invite our five new startups to the Zilliqa family. Having met some of the founders, I'm inspired by their depth of expertise in their fields their creativity, intelligence, and conviction in their projects. As a general purpose technology, blockchain can sometimes be hard to understand. But after their presentations, I hope you will get a more concrete sense of the potential of blockchain, especially in the areas of decentralized finance, or DeFi, NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, and traceability and provenance solutions. 
Of course, Longhash has been instrumental in assisting us in, in men mentoring and preparing the five startups in their go-to-market strategy, fundraising, product development, and all the other myriad of needs that startups face. In the last 12 weeks, I'm sure that Emma, Shukai, and the rest of the Longhash team, including the mentors, have prepared our five startups, Brighttree, Mintable, SoundAreo, Depos, and Button, for the challenging journey towards becoming successful. As part of our ecosystem development program, we've also rebranded our combined accelerator grants and education program, all under the common umbrella of Zill Hive. Our $5 million ecosystem grant and accelerator program continues to fund necessary infrastructure for a vibrant ecosystem consisting of wallets, block explorers, tools, libraries, and education resources. To date, we've funded over 61 projects in 21 countries. It's truly been an international effort that showcases the diversity of the Zilliqa developer and entrepreneur community. Our education program is available online on learnsilla.com, and we've also be recently been on a roadshow to various universities in the UK, such as King's College London and Cambridge University, to teach talented young people how to build applications on Zilliqa. Next year, our collaboration with Tribe Accelerator and Coder School, a coding school in Vietnam, will train 20 Scylla developers. Developers truly are at the core of the Zilliqa community. So if you're interested in learning about Scylla, or if you know uh, someone who is, please visit our Learn Scylla website or join our developer chat on Discord. And you can find the link on our website. And so it leaves me to thank Longhash, Emma, Shukai, and all the Longhash mentors for all your efforts in making all of this possible. To the five startups, I'm looking forward to hearing your pitches and updates on your journey. May you find both the funding and the users you're looking for, and please let us know if we can help in any way at Zilliqa. And I'd also like to thank Ms. Yeo Miao Ling for gracing our event, and Enterprise Singapore in its efforts in helping us to showcase our platform and solutions to a broader stage. And we at Zilliqa hope to be a great representation of Singapore's broader efforts in becoming a smart nation and a hub for deep tech in the region. Please feel free to approach myself or any of our team members if you'd like to know more about Zilliqa or email us at growth at Thank you and have a great evening.